This is the video for installing the latest version of QGIS or QGIS onto a Mac operating system. And in this case, I'm using a High Sierra. I'll actually show you what operating system I'm using here. So I'm on Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.2. Okay. Um, so those of you that are on a Mac, you want to check your system and make sure that it's going to be the specifications. High Sierra is obviously a pretty late version. So what we're doing here, if you have a new Mac, um, the process should work fine. So to get started, what we want to do is we want to, you know, just first check your operating system, make sure that you know what it is. And you can do that just by going to the Apple and say about this Mac. Um, once you know that, you want to go ahead and search for uh, QGIS. So if you just um, go to Google and we'll just do a search window QGIS and we go to the project itself, it'll bring you to this page. I have a couple versions here open. And if you click on download now, we have a couple options. We can download for other operating systems. We can download for Windows, which I'll do in a different video. And we can also do for Mac OS. So here it says this is the Mac installer package for Mavericks, Mountain Lion, and Lion. And it actually goes to a different page. So I'm going to click on that and explain what this is all about. This is the King Chaos download page. And this is a build of the just platform for a Macintosh operating system. And if you read the liner notes here, um, he says that um, this is for Mac um, Mountain Lion and newer. And um, there's two options here. There's the long-term support, which is the version that's the most stable, which is 2.14. And our course book handles this version very well. Um, I'm going to teach the class in 2.18. There's also a version three that's just coming out. So we're kind of caught between different versions. There's not a huge differences between each version. There's obviously upgrades and new features that are added to newer versions. And um, we want to take as much advantage of those new features as possible. So I'm going to start the class running in 2.18. And that's the actual download that I've done that I'm going to demo here in just a second. So this is 287 megabytes that you download here. So you just click on it and it downloads. And as you do that, you're going to get a disk image. And this is the disk image that comes down. It's a .dmg. And once you click on that and open it up, you'll get a folder here. All right. And inside, you have four components, um, gdal, numpy, matplot library, and also the QGIS install. And these three before the QGIS install, these are dependencies that the install requires to have installed first. And so if you go through the readme's, it kind of talks about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, do those installs real quickly so you can see how that works. Um, so if I click on it, double click it, it's not going to allow me in because it doesn't see um, this particular build of QGIS as being from a known developer. There's a way around that, which is we can just go do a right click and go to open with or open. So just right click open and that will allow us to actually get into it. And then this is a little bit repetitive. We have to go through the licensing and the readme's and I'm just going to agree. I'm going to install it and then I have to type in my password as administrator. So I'm going to do that to install the software. Okay. So, so the GDAL was uh, successful. We're going to open up again, and I'm going to put NumPy in. These are Python libraries, and we're going to install this one, T. Okay. That one was successful. I'm going to do this one. Okay, and then finally, we're going to get to the Q QGIS install. So here, we're going to go ahead and put it in. So we're going to run it. I'll run it with the installer this time. Does the same thing. Agree. Install. Okay. So once it installs, what we'll do is we'll launch it um, and see see what we get back. Okay. So from this page, we've done an install, and we can go applications, and we should see it there. Uh, let's see if we can find it. QGIS. There it is. So let's go ahead and open this up. I can show the package contents. Let's look at that real quickly. So under the contents, this is where everything that we loaded in just happened. Okay, so we'll go back. 
and we'll open up the icon. We'll double click on the, the icon. And this is the 2.18 Wasp Palmas edition. And this will take a moment to load up. Um, and as it does so, I think I'm gonna throw an error and I'll explain to you kind of what that's about. And then we'll look at a different version of actually doing an install. Okay, so everything looks good except I'm getting an error here at the top, which is a Python error. And if we take a look at um, what's happening here, it's not able to find, um, there's two modules that's missing, this one and also another one. Um, I have those. So if you wanna run this install and you get an error on your machine, on your operating system for this, which may be the case, um, I can just simply send you these and um, show you how to install them. So if you do get that error and you want to continue with this install, um, we can do that. It's going to be fine. It's working perfectly fine. What's happening here is that it's just not allowing us into a, um, a specific plugin. And I'll show you which one that is. Everything else is fine, except uh, there's one invalid, which is this one. This is called the meta search. And it's just one thing that's broken in the, um, in the install for some reason. Okay. But we can fix that if you're having that problem on your machine. So that's the first type of install is running it from um, the King Chaos um, site. The other option, um, which I'll talk about here in just a second, is called Boundless. And here's Boundless. Boundless is a company that um, does a lot of development around QGIS, and they offer a free version, uh, sort of a bundled package that's very much like the King Chaos download. Um, it's slightly different and has some different components to it. But what's nice about it is that the download is um, arranged very well and is a really clean install. So I'm going to show you that real quickly. So if you want to do this as an option, again, it's going to be free, easy, free, easy download. And you would just uh, go to Google and search for Boundless Geo. Okay, that brings you to their site. And you go to their products, and we're looking for their desktop version. They have some other products also that are available, but this is what you want is the desktop. Hype into this. Talks a little bit about how um, the Boundless team has put, put together the software package. Okay. So let me get back into it here. Okay, so it's the basic that we want. So if we go to download, um, to download it, you need to actually create a login. So I'm just going to log out real quickly. I'm actually logged in right now. Um, so if I go to downloads, uh, and here's the desktop that we were just at. If you see this grayed out as register, you need to click on register. And you can see I have a login here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. You need to do a sign up and they'll send you a quick email confirmation. And you need to click on that to get in. Okay, so this is for the Macintosh version, and we're going to download it. Um, and I've already done that download. This was released 11-14-2017, so it's a very new version. And this is what we get. We get a, um, another DMG, disk image. And if we open up, we can see that it's a little bit simple format here. And if we look at the README, um, it's very well organized. And... The install is pretty straightforward. They also have a nice uninstall if you get into trouble. Okay, and it also goes through some known issues. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Boundless desktop and see what we get from that. So it's a very similar uh, install process. So here's all the things that are going to come with it. And you can see GDALs listed. It's going to give you a few other options too. We're just going to continue with all this. Agree. And you can also install a command shell and a um, page admin for, for some database things. Uh, we can go ahead and, and accept all that and say install. It's going to validate all the packages. And as it does so, it's going to put those all into a folder now called boundless. So when we open up, it's going to be QGIS within uh, the boundless folder. And I'll just pause the video for a second until it actually writes everything. Okay, so once you have a successful install, you'll get um, a notice here that the install was completed successfully, and we can close that. And then if we go to applications, um, under 
boundless, you're not going to be looking for QGIS. Um, you'll, you'll look for boundless in the desktop. And then you'll see the QGIS uh, icon here. So we just double click this. And they also have an uninstall utility too. So if you wanted to uninstall it, you could do that clean in a nice clean way. So it's loading up and you can see that you don't get the same um, visual icon as um, just a straight install would give you. We say okay. And this is what the interface will look like. It's basically the same interface. Everything's just like the other version. This is 2.18.14 instead of 1.5. So it's going to be very slightly different. Um, and if you go to plugins, you can see that boundless is going to show up in a few places, um, but it's essentially the same as the install that we would get from King Chaos and essentially straight from uh, QGIS. So those would be the two versions or the two options uh, to get the software onto a Mac system. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't have a strong preference for either. Um, I kind of leaning towards having folks in this class using the boundless because I don't think you'll run into the issue that I ran into with, um, with the error for the um, Python modules or the Python packages. Um, that's the only thing that I think would be an advantage of using boundless. The other thing about boundless is that it really is a nice clean install. It's very easy to do. You don't have to click four things. You just click one thing. Okay, so once you get to this point where you can see the interface, um, you're all set and you should be ready to process some data and do some experimentation with the interface itself, which we'll cover in our next video.